I don't know the way, sorry. <laughs> if I'm going to lip sync a song, I should at least know the lyrics, really, shouldn't I? Um, I'm fucking here with you. Okay, Christmas beer time, again. And um, this is my last of my festive beers, actually. And um, it's lucky, really, because I'm getting a little bit shit faced. Um, this one's from the Flying Dog Brewery. Um, and it's their K9. I do love the artwork on these um, bottles. The Raging Bitch particularly had a really nice one. Um, I can't remember the guy who done it. I know Rob from Hopzines recently reviewed this one. He wasn't too impressed with it. He said it was alright. But he wasn't blown away. Um, however, we've all got different tastes. So I might really like it. So, anyway. Talking to Rob. Merry Christmas, mate. Uh, check out his channel, hopzine.com. Or as the real world guy likes to say, Hopzine. Hopzine. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's give you some info on this K9. Lovely, right? It says, if only we could take our dogs skiing, they could chase off snow plowing tourists, stick their head out the gondola window, and use the snow as their own artistic canvas. But on those days when your pooch can't be there, enjoy one of these dark, sweet, malty owls in his honour. Seven point four percent IBUs thirty. I don't know what that IBU business is. I know it's bitter in units, but. I think that's an American thing. Flyingdogsale.com, um, brewed by Flying Dog Brewery in, where are they based? California, is it? I don't know, just MD, what's MD? I've no idea, right. Let's get it cracked. Yeah, that's quite a nice cap. I think I'll keep that one. Right then. Let's get it poured. I was supposed to be watching a new Harry Potter movie, but... Oh, God, it bores me to tears. Um, I know some people really like it. I prefer the books way more than the movie. Um, the movie's a bit like a sort of soap opera. I don't really like it that much. Um, anyway, what am I talking about Harry Potter for? Right, as you can see, the colour is... It's sort of pretty filtered, sort of dark brown colour. There's hardly any head on there whatsoever. Um, you can see a little bit of the old alcohol legs clinging to the glass. Let's give it a nose. Mmm, it smells like a, a typical sort of British um, bitter or something like that. I'm getting a lot of the old earthy notes. Hmm. Some uh, malted, some sort of malty, sort of biscuity notes. Oh god, these these descriptions must bore the tears out of some people. But it's really hard to pull flavours out when you don't really get much uh, coming out of the glass. Earthy, malty, biscuity. There's not much going on with this. And as you can see, there's no head. It's gone. Um, before I drink this, let me just check the cell. Why don't? Lovely. 2012. That's good. Right, okay. Let's get a rest in there. Okay, got a tiny bit of a head. But anyway, let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Merry Christmas and all that crap. Lovely. Thanks, Jesus. Excuse me. I think I'm getting a bit of ginger in that. It's quite a smooth carbonation. I'm getting that nice sort of dark maltiness. I'm not really getting an earthiness in the taste. I've got more of it on the smell, but there's definitely like a dry in sort of ginger after taste. Um, but other than that, there's not that much going on, uh, which is a shame really, because I've had a few flying dogs and they've all been pretty nice.
very light body, nice bit of sweetness, uh, nice little bit of maltiness. I do like that aftertaste, I do like the dry and ginger aftertaste, it's not predominantly a ginger flavour, it's more like the um, the after effects of drinking something with ginger in, uh, the drying on the tongue, but no bitterness. Um, I don't know if they're trying to go for an English style beer here, um, maybe they are, I don't know. But it's not, it's not, it's not ringing my bells. <laughs> Um, so I think this is going to be a pretty short review. There's no alcohol taste. Like I said, very low carbonation. Nice sweetness, nice, nice maltiness. A little bit of ginger dryness on the aftertaste. And that's it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Six out of ten. It's, very, it's, it's still drinkable. It's a nice beer. Excuse me. There's nothing about it that makes me want to tip it away. It's just not that impressive. Okay, so that's the last of my um, seasonal beers. Um, I've got a couple of Belgian ones in the fridge, but I'm not going to have them tonight because I'll be on the arse. Um, thanks very much for watching the Urban Viking Hour review. As you can see, I'm starting to feel a little bit drunk, so I'm going to stop doing reviews now before I make an idiot of myself. And um, I'll see you guys again soon. So, cheers! Or should I do some more reviews? <laughs> we'll see. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>